Hey, sports is back in the mix. How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good evening to you. I'm Paul Sikala. Long Island High School has been a dynasty over the last decade with constant trips to the state championship game, and it helps when there's such a good farm system, if you will. That farm system being Nogales Little League, who's taken teams to the Little League World Series over the last several years. And come Wednesday, Nogales will take on Western Little League, the team from Murrieta Park in the winner's bracket of the state tournament at Curtis Park in the juniors level. We're talking the Final Four. Western Little League, of course, punched his ticket to the Final Four of the winner's bracket by beating Sunnyside on Monday. And tonight, the boys from Mission Manor Park were duking it out with West Flagstaff Little League. Get on your phone, call your friends. And as our cameras got to the matchup, Kevin Gomez would score for Sunnyside. No slide, no problem. He was safe. But a bit later, the lack of getting the jersey dirty would catch up with Sunnyside. Michiel Lopez will come through with an RBI. That will allow Ingo Rodriguez to come around and score. But then the next runner doesn't slide. And this time, he is out. Come on. Got to get the uniform dirty, my friend. And on the mound, here is Michiel Lopez getting the strikeout. In the end, Sunnyside stays alive for the 13 to 5 victory. All right, the NBA Summer League continues strong with two former Arizona Wildcats who excelled under coach Tommy Lloyd trying to make a name for themselves and the pros were talking big man Christian Coloco who's averaging 12 points with the Raptors against guard Dalen Terry, the former Arizona great came into the afternoon matchup averaging 11 points and nearly 5 assists a game for the Chicago Bulls as a teenager. That's right. Because before today, he was still 19. But a big birthday shout out in Las Vegas to Daylon Terry, who turned 20 years old today. And he'd get a birthday present from his former partner in crime at Arizona in the form of a block shot against his Bulls teammate, Christian Coloco, with a rejection. He is averaging three blocks a game in the NBA Summer League. But back comes Daylon Terry and the Bulls. Check out the finish by Terry in slow. Mo. A bit later, he will give Chicago a three point lead. Going back door baseline. Oh, that actually is the baseline jumper. But after that, here's the back door. Dalen Terry saying to down. How you like him now? The former Wildcat would see his Bulls go on a 17-2 run at that point and win 93-83. Terry scored 14 while Coloco had five points. And here is Dalen Terry talking about what his coaches tell him. You know, in the locker room, he's been just telling us, let's play our game and keep it going. And no matter what, keep going. No matter what's coming on, he's going to keep going. So, I just, I just, my whole team, man, everybody's doing it. So we're just going to continue to keep getting out and running and trying to exploit their uh, weaknesses on, on, on defense and offense. That's what you do to walk away with the victory. Meanwhile, former Arizona great Benedict Matherin and the Pacers, they knocked off the Pistons in the NBA Summer League game tonight. And here comes the three Arizona players once again making it happen in the NBA Summer League. Matherin with the Pacers as the sixth overall pick. Daylon Terry, 18th overall with the Bulls. And Christian Coloco once again as the 33rd overall pick for the Raptors. Hey, and quickly, the Tucson Roadrunners pro hockey team is already gearing up for next season here in the old Pueblo. And just being announced, their home opener will be on October 22nd. More promotional dates and scheduled matchups will be released within the next few weeks. That's it for now. I'm Paul Sikala. We'll be right back.